Okay, so the Toronto Sports Card Show is this weekend. Pretty excited about that. Um, I'm also going to do a PSA submission. I'm going to drop off at the show. There's a, there's a special. So I figured that'd be convenient for me. So I have chose 26 cards here to be graded. Um, this is uh, 1980 to present. So I went through and I just picked uh, picked the, for the newer cards. I picked cards that I thought would grade well, and some older cards that I just wanted to get slabbed regardless of the grade. So yeah, so let's just go through the pile. I'll show you what's going in. First one up is this uh, Ricky Henderson 1980 rookie card. I'm gonna um, guess my grades and then we'll see what the what the actual grades are. So I'm gonna say based on the new PSA, everybody says the the grades are harder now, which I I've, I've seen that. I'm going to give this a five. Hope for a six. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a four, just the way they're grading cards, but I'm going to give it a five. Hope for a six. Okay, this is that. Uh, it's a Topps Thirst 1981 Muhammad Ali comic. This is just something I want to throw in a slab because it's super rare. There's only uh, 12 of these on PSA, and they're all PSA ones, so this is going to be a one. Just because it's folded when it comes out of the pack. Next up we have Hulk Hogan. I got the, I got a really good deal on this at the last show. This is the LPG version. Fairly decent centering. Um, it has some kind of residue on the back. Very hard to see, but I don't know how it's going to affect the grade. Who knows? This one I'm afraid to predict. I would hope for... Anywhere six, seven, or eight, but it could be lower because of the the surface on the back. I'm I'm happy with whatever this one gets, to be honest. There's no creases. Next up we have Barry Bonds traded. This one looks pretty good. I would hope for an eight on this. Who knows again? This is a Mike Tyson. Living Legend card from 1990. It has a little bit of a blue. There's a bit of a blue color there on the edge from the front. I don't know if that'll affect it. I don't even know if they'll grade this card because it's such a weird oddball card. I couldn't even find it on their uh, population report. So uh, this is just another card. I don't care what the grade is. It's uh, sharp, but there's a few surface imperfections. So... Maybe it's going to be a 6. Maybe it's going to be a 5. I don't know. Then we have uh, Mike Trout. 2015 Prism Gold. Bought this at a show in a $5 bin. And then I realized it was uh, numbered to 10. So that's a pretty good deal there. Um, give this one a 9. Always hoping for 10s on newer cards, but I'll be conservative. Same with this is a 2020 negative refractor. Some of these cards I'm just grading just to flip, basically. Some of them are PC. Uh, so this one I would hope for a 10. Vladdy, this is a no number. A lot of these have a bad right upper right corner. This one seems seems good. Again, 9 or 10 would be nice. Aaron Judge Pink Refractor from 2020. Another nice card. Hope for a 9 or 10. Got this 2021. It's a 65 uh, Chrome Heritage card. It's a little off-center. Still might squeeze out a 10, maybe a 9. We'll see. We have a... This is a uh, Ovechkin. Here, this is how you do it. Ovechkin Crosby lenticular card. Now I have no idea how these lenticular cards grade. If it's difficult or not, 
Again, I would hope for a high grade on this, but I have no idea. It's from 06, I think. 05, 06 maybe. I don't know. Have this uh, highlight card of Ovechkin from his rookie year from um, Parkhurst. This is uh, the goal that he scored. Everybody knows that goal. I'm not even going to say because I hope for 9 or 10 on all these cards. The modern cards. Here is a 2010-11 Ovechkin uh, throwback. It's a 20th anniversary card. These are very hard to find. I don't think there's there's one or two on on eBay PSA graded, but um, I think this is going to look awesome in a PA, PSA slab with the colors. Here's the first Ovechkin canvas card. So yeah, I've got a lot of Ovechkin cards that I'm grading and prepping for when he gets closer to that record. I'm going to sell a lot of those cards to pay for other stuff. Here's another cool Ovechkin canvas card, the triple exposure from 1617. This I pulled on my channel, 2012 13 OPG black and white. It's not a real autograph, but these are extremely rare. There's only two of these in the PSA pop report, so hoping this guy can get a good grade as well. We have a Kale McCarr red rainbow from Allure. Uh, Jack Hughes yellow tracks or no yellow taxi There's a McDavid yellow taxi These are all 1920s and then this is a really cool PC card Crosby and Ovechkin uh, face off it's a Crosby and Ovechkin Crosby McDavid It's actually a McDavid card Pretty cool card there Here's another one that's popular. It's a second year Matthews with the St. Pat's canvas. Canvas cards usually grade fairly well. So, a Caprasoff Platinum. This one is a Sunset Parallel. We have a few young guns to finish it off. We have the Ottinger. Little tiny mark on the top right, but I'm still going to grade this card. Mason McTavish, uh, Cider, and Lucas Raymond. So yeah, it's fairly easy to do if you've never done it before. You can just if you're from Canada, there's a PSA Canada website, and they're they're like basically a dealer of PSA. So they'll be at the show taking uh, drop offs. So you just fill out a form on their site print it out so i just basically use some good reading glasses uh a good light and i use this uh little thing here to wipe the cards of dust or any fingerprints yeah i know psa is crazy strict so i'm curious to see how um how these grades turn out i'll definitely be posting that video on here i think it's a 120 day turnaround time so february march probably get the cards back so yeah and i'll be live from the show tomorrow off and on i'll do like some little shorts and some just some small clips here and there and i'll post uh, all my uh all the stuff i get i'll post a video tomorrow night all right stay tuned